Hello, hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. It's been a while since, uh, since I've done a tutorial on Minecraft. Uh, so in this episode I thought we would do a super smelter. Uh, because, yeah, that's a really necessary thing. And that's a really good thing to have. Uh, so the de design I'm going to show you oh, uh, is this one. Uh, it's pretty simple, but uh, yeah, it's it's not the cheapest one. So I will show you one uh, one cheaper al alternative as well. Uh, but we'll take that in the end of, in the end of the episode. It's not really like a big design or anything. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll get started. But oh, actually, I, I'm I'm going to show you just so this <laughs> works works before before we get into it. So you put the the thing you want to smelt there, and then let's grab some coal real quick. Um, and then you put in the fuel there, and then it it will automatically distribute the the fuel and the the thing you want to to smelt in the into this ovens um, with the help of this redstone mechanism. And then it will automatically uh, come here when it's done. There you go. Uh, so it's really efficient. Uh, I'm, I will leave that there. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So what you can start off by doing is just place a chest somewhere. Uh, so, so the uh, when when the product is finished smelting, you it will go there, and place a few hoppers like this. Uh, I will use four furnaces, so I place five hoppers because I want to leave one space cl clear in sp in in case you want to do b do any building to cover this up or anything. And then place four furnaces on top of them, uh, with four hoppers pointing into the front of it. Uh, well, actually, it it can be it it works to place in the back as well, in the back of the furnace, uh, and then place four hoppers on top, uh, and then uh, place one block there and uh, a uh, comparator on on top of it, uh, and the same goes for this one, and then place four hoppers pointing in to the uh, to the comparator on both on both sides. Uh, and then you can then place um, one block there. Oh no, actually that's that's wrong. Uh, one block there and one block there in front of the comparators, and then place the redstone torch there, uh, and a block some blocks along here, along alongside these hoppers, a repeater there, and there is some redstone dust there. Uh, and then do the same thing on this side. Just place them a redstone torch, a few blocks, a repeater, and a few bits of redstone dust. And there we go, it's basically done now, but uh, you, you're going to make it super smelter, you, you're going to need this, right? So just place uh, maybe hoppers like that, and there you, there, will ha there you will put the fuel, and then a few hoppers, two hoppers like that, and then you there you will put the ore or stone, whatever you want to smelt. So that is it done, we can, I can test if it's working. So the iron ore goes in there, and the coal in there. So we should, should distribute them along nicely. Yeah, there we go. Coal and iron ore is going to the furnaces. And after a while, we, we will see some iron ore coming into this. Yeah, there we go. But if you're not, if you if you're just starting out with your world and you can't afford this this setup with because there's to, let's face it. There's a lot of hoppers in this in this one. There's like at least 20 of them, and tw 20 hoppers uh, requires like five iron and one chest each. So that's a lot of iron and chests. Uh, so then you can just make this simple uh, one. You can place uh, two hoppers like that, and a face in a chest like this. Uh, I I think this only works with two with two furnaces, sadly. Uh, I, I haven't tested it out, but just just to be sure, let's make this, let's make it with just two furnaces. And then two hoppers like that, and the chest on top. Let's see if I can <laughs> place a double chest. There we go. And then you can place another chest like this uh, for the fuel. So that should be it. So the... The materials on top and the fuel there. There we go. And now you just lay around for a bit and we will see it starting to smelt it. There we go. Two designs of, of two super smelters. 
one one effective and one lesser effective but th th this is more resource efficient so that kind of compensates it so there you go everybody that is two designs of a smooth matter uh, if you enjoyed it please leave a like and a suggestion for what i what i can do in the future and if you enjoyed it please do consider subscribing it will really help help out a lot uh, and with that said i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye